Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers and happy uh, summer. Happy yeah. Father's Day week. Holy hot weather. Yeah. I got some bad news today, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's that? I didn't get that job at the uh, sunscreen factory. Oh, man. Are you going to do anything about it? I'm going to reapply. <laughs> yeah. Hey, John. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, who's that guy we got this stuff from? Uh, he was that um that Irish guy, this right? Guy. I don't know what we're talking about. What was his name? Patty? Patty Pat o Furniture? Oh. Uh, <laughs> furniture. Patty, Patty O Furniture. It's just like it's like Father's Day is coming up and we're getting ready with all these horrible dad jokes. Oh yeah. man. You say one person's horrible dad jokes, I'll I'll laugh hours at this stuff. Uh, yeah, you're easily amused. I am. I am. <laughs> well, hey everyone, welcome to Beer and the Wilmington Brewers podcast, where we let you know what's going on in our tap room each week. Today we are coming to you once again from Craig's favorite place to drink beer, the Beer Garden. And uh, yeah, we uh, beer and cider. Oh, and the, the beer and cider, cider garden. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You now, what's your? This is your favorite place to drink beer, but you know what my favorite beer to drink is the one in my hand. The one in my hand. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. What's in your hand today? Uh, what do we got? Oh, Adventure Awaits, because that's coming back out in Kansas week. Oh, that one's that one's popping off. Yeah, so Adventure yeah. Awaits, that's our, our state park and Delaware tourism collaboration. Um, we blew through the first you know 30 cases. You guys just ate it all up, Series 1. We will continue Series 1 the rest of this year, so expect to see it all summer. Next batch is coming out this week. Super exciting. <clears throat> that it is. Yeah, Ooh, it is. I got a little tahini. What's it? Oh, yeah. You have the... Uh, the Mexilante Me Negra with a tahini rim. Yeah. It's, it's out of this world. It's so good. And it's I've good. got Malice Aforethought. Rocking the cider. If you, guys, if you guys have not tried this one, man, it's so complex. It drinks really nice. It's like a fantastic little white wine. Thank you. Apple wine. Yeah, or cider, as it's known. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, and we, um, we uh, blended out another fun new cider this week that... Yeah. Uh, I'm very excited about. We still don't have a name. Still don't have a name. Yeah. And uh, but I'm excited. This one's gonna. TBD. This is just a tease. Yeah, it's gonna get you going a little bit. Yeah. Get you I'm, ex I'm excited for this one. So let's talk about this week, right? This you know, week we tonight, got some things coming up. To, you know, this comes out on Monday. We've got you know Dungeons and Drafts. That's right. Uh, that's every other week here in the Alamo Room. Uh, going through the week, we have our normal uh, you know turntable Tuesday. We've got trivia on Wednesday. Um, this weekend, we've got uh, Adam McHugh uh, on Friday night. He's our uh, uh, acoustic act for the Queen-sponsored uh, uh, live music here. And on Saturday, um, we've got... The Brand New Unriders. Thank you. It was on the tip of my tongue. You know, I was at the... Um, um, well, forget it. I, <laughs> I was at the, uh, the Jasper Crane Rose Garden Festival uh, party yesterday, and one of the members of the Brand New Wine Riders was was playing music there which was which was great to see so our, our that was sam this weekend just tear it up yeah. yeah yeah those guys are great so they'll be here on saturday night um since we're talking about live music in the beer garden uh, thanks. you know um we've had a couple uh things going on here if you guys don't remember we put a big post out at the beginning of the year about um uh kids here at the brewery listen we love kids i've got kids ryan's got kids craig's got kids i've got kids we've always i love wanted... bringing my kids to breweries that's yes. one of the yeah. things that my kids love to travel with me for we, we go out we get munchies we have some of the craft beverages at whatever brewery it is that we find nearby yeah yeah, yeah i mean i get it this is like i love bringing my children to the brewery yeah. but I mean, wilmington brewers was founded with the idea of being a family friendly environment, family inclusive environment. But there's a social contract here. And that means yes. that if you're gonna come with your kids, you, you kinda need to supervise them. Nobody ever said, you know what? That bartender would make a great babysitter. Guys, please, we don't pay our bartenders enough to chase your kids around the patio and yeah. stop the rock throwing. So like when this happens all day, it's it's really miserable for us and it's miserable for our patrons. It and creates a horrible experience for the next person to sit down in these seats. Exactly. And you know, um, you want us to stay here. You know, we are having people that are telling us, listen, I, I just stopped coming because the kids have gotten out of control. And so we don't want to have to go no kids on Saturday nights. We don't have to go no kids on Friday nights, but it is on the table if we can't can't wrap we're, this up. We're trying to we're trying to not go there. That's really a punishment for, for John, us. Ryan, myself. <clears throat> what we'd like to do is we'd like to remind you guys out there that this number one first and foremost is, is a bar right we're not a playground 
There are other breweries that specialize in playgrounds for kids. Yeah. So the parents can sit on the sidelines and get smashed. Well, but you that's know, that's not us. We do have a playground. It's across the street in Haynes Park. It's wonderful. It's brand new. We have huge windows. You can watch the kids play from here. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, like, depending on like your level of comfort with free range, you can absolutely do that. But what is absolutely off limits at our place is climbing on the rock walls and the furniture. Guys, this is, we're trying to stop your kids from getting hurt. Yeah. All right? No, this is not because we're mad. This is not, this is because we are terrified that one of your kids is going to come off the wall and a rock is going to land on top of them. Also, no throwing rocks. Guys, this has really been a problem, and it's not about the And it's kids. not just throwing rocks, because I saw a kid trying to throw a shoe the other day. <laughs> Please don't throw things at the brewery. <laughs> yes. I mean, There's I would, if an adult was doing this, I would yeah. kick the adult out. Yeah. All right, we can't have this kind of behavior, and we really have to go right <clears> down the line. If it's if an adult would be thrown out for this, yeah. then we have to practice this with everybody. And then no running around like it's recess. Again, if an adult was doing this, I would absolutely have to grab them and ask them to leave. Yeah, Guys, it's, it's gonna be, we have to work with the same rules for everybody. If it's, and a dog too. If you're gonna pee in the middle of the patio, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. Yeah. So, so dogs, kids, adults, well, same rules for everything. And the running around is important too, because you know, this area gets crowded. Not to mention, there's servers walking through with trays of drinks and you know, we don't need the safety hazards. Look, enough of that. You guys all know what we're talking about, please. I beg of you, please. Yes. Let us stay family friendly. Uh, bring your kids out, enjoy the music. Bring chalk, they can draw on the sidewalk. We're happy to have that. You know, dance to the music, that's fine. Um, it's, it's a, it's, it's a it, low key place for your yeah, kids. It's we want to stay low key. We're not it, burn off your energy. Yeah. And if you see a staff member kind of looking at your child saying, where are your parents? You better, you know, get up and talk to us before we come talk to you. We, guys, enough, right? Yeah. That's, we said what we said, please people help us, help us help you. Yeah. So let's talk about beer. Yeah. On that. Well, you know what, John, there's one more thing going on this next week and it is a guest bartender. Oh, okay. Over, at, over at the Belfont Cafe. Belfont Cafe. That's right. Yeah, so that's if, uh, Thursday night, right? That's Thursday night. Yeah. So if you guys want to come out and chat with me about uh, drink, all things drinking beer, I love to drink beer. The only thing that I love more than drinking beer is talking about beer. Yeah. So if you guys want to come out and just have a geeked out conversation about beer with me, come over to the Belfont Cafe. It's under new ownership now. They are sticking to all Wilmington Brew Works beer on draft. Love it. So it's fantastic. I went the other day. It was fantastic. Come help us support our retailers, guys. Yeah. Um, no, the, the thing that we forgot to talk about was Cellarman Circle Weekend for Father's Day. Oh, um, dude. So oh, if you're a member should, of this. We really should like make a script. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you are a member of the Scripts Cellarman Circle, if you've yeah. been a member of the Cellarman Circle and you have a Wilmington Brewer Stein, there will be some specials for you all weekend. We haven't quite figured out what they are yet, but they'll go out in your email uh, this week. And uh, I'll, I'll drop a note to all the former uh, Cellarman members. Um, that that still have their steins, still good to use, and come in and get a nice uh, stein discount. And I'm pretty sure we still come have show a, us your stein. We yeah. still have a couple memberships available, right? We do have memberships yeah, available so for this, this year. Yeah, so if this sounds fun to you, there's still time to get in. And, and, and I'm here. already uh, in the design process for next year's stein. Twenty five percent off your entire tab. There you go. Buy merch, buy food. Everybody's going to go to the games, right? So come out, grab some uh, tailgating, tailgating material. Yeah. yeah, some of my favorite beers right here. We got Woohoo Brew, Superfluous. That is my that's my number one, man. Yes, you can't go wrong with Superfluous. Superfluous, man, it goes down so easy. Mexilante Especia. All of these are great for tailgating. Yep. Didn't we tailgate the other day with oh, a couple of these? Did you see ourselves on TV, Ryan? Yeah, I saw us on TV. We were that on TV. Cool. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, go for it. You were talking smack to the brewers. Yeah. So guys, my, well, uh, usually people talk smack not, to not our, not our <laughs> brewers. Not our brewers. The, the I was team. like, your ratings on Untapped suck. <laughs> <laughs> he, the, the right fielder had no idea what he was talking about. No, neither did I. So guys, my uh, my little uh, timer for how long these videos can go is is running a little low. So yeah, I think we're um, dang. Wait, yeah. new, did any new beers coming up this week? Nude beers? No beers. New beers. New beers. Man, I can't hear. We ought to do a nude beer again. We just did sartorial absences. Uh, hey, oh, about that robot. Yeah, have you guys seen our robot? We uh, we worked with uh, Dave Sanchez to 
to help um, uh, patronize him and get him to get some street art street art out here at Wilmington Brewer. Yeah, I guess you great. could say we commissioned it. It's not a commission. This is more of a oh. uh, patron of the arts. We can't say that. No, not a commission. Patron of the arts. Yes, we patronize the arts. Yes. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get us another one now. I think we are. We need. We need a little place where everyone get a picture with him with a beer because you can't get a picture with the beer out there. We no. couldn't put a picture of, uh, of beer. Yeah, can't take beers in, public, in the parking lot. No, no, that's not a licensed space. No. So please don't try to take our beers out into the parking lot or out into the street. Nope. Keep them right here on premise. Yeah. Um, except to go packaged beer to go yeah you can take that wherever you want all right guys cool well um we, i think we rambled a little bit in this one ramble ramble that's what we do yeah uh thanks for joining us as always we look forward to seeing you here in the tap room we didn't even talk about the hummus the new flavor oh, Kalmata man. Olive i'm hummus. so hungry for some of that too Have I? dude i would yeah. love some of that we hummus. got some beautiful new labels it, it goes so it goes so good with the size of amazing pitas we're gonna enjoy this you go off and have yourself a great uh, great week, and we'll see you here yeah. at the tap room. And uh, to all you dads out there, happy Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. You guys know why uh, um, ice cream always gets invited to the party? Why does ice cream get invited to the party, John? That's cool. <laughs> mm.